Hello, I'm Tammy Sankofa Travel Her, and this is Black History Untied. Christina Adair was an elementary school teacher, woman suffragist, and civil rights activist. She was born on October 22, 1893 in Victoria, Texas. Adair attended Prairie View State Normal and Industrial College that is now Prairie View A&E today, earning a teaching degree in 1914. Adair was one of the few African-American suffragists in Texas. In the 1920s, when she tried to vote, she discovered that, by law, black people could not vote in the primaries. To fight to change that law, Adair joined the Houston chapter of the NAACP for 25 years before appointment with the organization from 1943 to 1955, where she served as the executive secretary. Adair helped desegregate Houston airports, public libraries, city buses, the hospitals, and department store dressing rooms. Adair retired from the NAACP in 1959, then served as a precinct judge for 20 years. In 1952, Adair was titled Woman of the Year by Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. In 1966, Adair became one of the first blacks to be elected to the Democratic Executive Committee as a woman, but the party refused to seat her delegation. In 1977, a city park in Houston, Texas is named after Adair, and her name was added to the Texas Women Hall of Fame in 1984. Adair remained active in the community until her death in 1989 at the age of 96. Christina Adair will be remembered as a trailblazer who fought for the rights for both women and African Americans. To learn more on some heroes and sheroes of Black history, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, Black history is more than 28 days.